EPP parliamentary leaders in the member states, EPP group MEPs and EU commissioners exchanged views in Brussels on how to pave the way to sustainable recovery. Esther de Lange, the Dutch MEP responsible for the group's relations with national EPP parliamentary groups, underlined that the European and national parliaments will need to work hand in hand to deliver growth and jobs. The chairman of the national EPP parliamentary groups expressed their concern about the situation on the labour market and underlined that creating employment opportunities and addressing youth unemployment is important at both the national and the European level. They expressed their hope that the €300 billion Euro investment plan to boost growth and jobs will be presented shortly by the Commission. Valdis Dombrovskis, European Commission Vice President for the Euro and Social Dialogue, had the following to say in an interview with EPP TV. We are preparing a €300 billion Euro investment plan to unlock both public and private investment. And uh, we are going to present this plan already during this uh, months and start uh, implement it uh, immediately. Uh, we see this as one of the very important components to ensure sustainable economic uh, growth uh, in uh, EU. So we think uh, it has to be implemented without uh, uh, delays. Jerki Katainen, European Commission Vice President for Jobs, Growth, Investment and Competitiveness, explained why the plan is vital. It's very crucial because growth is necessary in order to get more jobs for people. I believe in job. I believe, I believe in working. Work is um, it's, it's not only earning money, but it's the way to, to everybody can create their own future. So work is primary value for me. The €300 billion Euro programme, to be deployed over three years, is the first initiative of the new European Commission. Its president, Jean-Claude Juncker, has not yet revealed the exact plan for the new funds, but the idea is to use public money to encourage larger private funds to invest in projects that would otherwise seem too risky. The aim of the plan is to guarantee investment and ensure sustainable economic growth, which is what the EU needs now.